We are among the few countries in the world where traditional craftsmen can create products that are easily the equal of the finest Western luxury. Often, our own crafts are far, far superior and always they are much, much cheaper. Let's take the suit, a staple of every man's wardrobe. I love good suits, both English and Italian. At today's exchange rates, a ready-made Italian designer suit costs upwards of a lakh and twenty-five thousand and a Savile Row bespoke suit costs a minimum of 3 lakh rupees. Personally, I think it's crazy to pay these prices. And fortunately, we don't have to. My suits are made for me here in Delhi. For several years, my tailor of choice has been Vesh at Rivoli. The Vesh business began over seven decades ago and Sachin Vesh, who makes my suits, is the third generation to get involved in the family business. Like his ancestors before him, Sachin prides himself on offering Savile Row techniques and Savile Row quality at a fraction of Savile Row prices. Sachin. Hi. Hi. How are you? How nice are you? to see you again. Good. You know what I thought for the show? We'd get a suit done from the beginning to the end and show people what bespoke tailoring is really about. See, when we give you a suit, we're not just giving you a suit. We match the, the purpose you need a suit for your personality and your physique exactly to the suit. So everyone with a size 40 is not the same. There, okay. there are differences among physiques of people. I want to talk a little bit about things that are technical to people who are not really into clothes, which is how a fusing is done, how the shoulder pads are done. Right. Should we do that? Can you show me some examples? Absolutely. I can, yeah. Like this is for instance a completed bespoke jacket, right? Right. How would this differ from the run of the mill ready-made jacket? The prime thing is the fit. Which okay. Will be made for you. Yeah. This is also constructed in a different way. So what you see in a suit jacket, yeah. You All see right. the front shell fabric. You see the lining inside, and in between this layer of lining and the shell, there is a layer of interlining on the front of every suit jacket, which is there to give it some body and some weight. Exactly. So now here I have a suit jacket, okay. which is made in the modern industrial way. This black interlining that you see yeah. is bonded onto the entire front. It's glued on essentially, it's fused. It's called a fusible interlining. Whereas this jacket. Now, this is, is the real thing. This is the real this thing. This is a this proper bespoke. So, jacket. here we have this, this greenish lining is made out of cotton, wool, and camel hair. And this, this li interlining is not bonded to the front of this jacket, it's free floating. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, you can feel it. And this is attached by many, many blind stitches done by hand. So, what advantage does this have? This is a 100% natural product. There's okay. No, there's no polyester, there is no uh, nylon, and hence it breathes much better. Okay, if you remember, I said to you on the phone that while you've done all kinds of suits for me, you've never actually done a classic blue suit. Right. So you I have did, some fabrics. I did pick out some for you. Okay. So these are some of the finest fabrics from Italy and England. This is Xenia. One, this is Xenia. This is one of the options which is a very, very dark blue. It's very dark. It's, it's almost like a black suit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, there's another one which is a bit lighter in color, which is this nice dorme. This is nice. Yeah. It bounces back, right? It bounces back. Another one we have is, is this from Savile Row. Okay. This is, this is a special fabric, which is always two ply by two ply. What does that mean? Okay. It means it has more strength. They've okay. put in more into the manufacturing of it. Okay. And it's super light and nice and resilient. This nice. is nice. Okay. Great. Yeah. So. We've chosen the fabric, you've explained the technique. Now all that remains is to measure my podgy frame. Absolutely. All right, so let's yeah, do that. Ready. Yeah, let's do that. And so to divert your attention while Sachin measures and sees quite how fat I am, let me summarize what a bespoke suit is. First of all, it's made specially for you and only you. This means that the pattern is drawn and then cut specifically for your frame. Secondly, the suit is completely handmade. Every stitch is done entirely by hand and several hours of tailoring go into each suit. Making a bespoke suit is not only a complicated process, it takes a while. So while Sachin cut the cloth, I went off to Bangalore in search of bespoke cufflinks and a bespoke tie. I was headed for the designer Namrata G. Namrata had sent me potential designs for cufflinks. They were truly, truly hideous. And so I was not optimistic when we met on the lawns of the West End Hotel. I feared that her designs would never rise above the vulgar and the banal. 
and her early sketches had given me no reason at all for any confidence. Okay, you've got my mails and all that, no? Oh yes, I yeah. did. In fact, uh, you know, the last when I sent you back the mail about the first logo that yeah. we did for you, which you weren't excited about at all. That is putting it mildly, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, taking on from there, I sent you the other design where you were saying that you want to keep the whole thing traditional and paisley. So I even looked at some kind of jhamewar feel. Okay. I've gone with what you've sent me on mail about. Uh, you know the whole theme being traditional second right. thing is the more i you know researched on you and went through a lot of uh, aspects about you that sounds really scary yeah. i realized that it's you who are the signature so i've got some nice designs here okay let's see them let's see what you okay. think of them okay. right okay yeah take a look okay number three for each time very nice cufflink yes all right all right so this antenna persona. is the new one. Yeah. And uh, remember, I asked you to send me your signature on a I mail. Remember. I yes. picked from there. The V is the way you sign it, and these are these little dots that you put on the side. So I feel that okay. everything. So the cufflink would be this would be like a yes, solid block, yes. and it would just have this, yes. which Embossed. doesn't actually look like a V. So it, it could be whatever you want. It's a it design, yeah. yeah. And I'd nice. also like you know do some kind of texture around so the whole thing looks uh, complete. And yet, uh, when you say texture around, you mean it'll be uh, sort of. See, I plan to craft it out of silver. Okay. So what we'll do is get the braised look here. Okay. And the V stands out. It's an embossed V. This one I quite like. Yeah. All right. So I we're like okay it with too, this one. Yes. Okay. Now you're going to show me the tie. Yes. Going with the feel of traditional jhamewar is what I felt would look fantastic. So I've done a design where That's we nice. use I like paisley. paisley. I like paisley. Yeah. The slight danger. It looks a little like a. No, it else. won't. It won't. That I can assure you. Okay. And then we have another option as well. This is nice too. In a pink. I've it's got nice fabric samples dirty too. Curtain, but it's nice. So here's some fabrics that I thought would look good okay. with the paisley design. So this is a pink and orange. Yeah, shot with it. Um, this I quite like. You know where you actually. Let me sort of green for the camera and see how it looks. Yeah, just see that. Oh wow, I like the look. It's 50 shades of veer. So there's two shades to begin right. with, right? Okay, huh? alright. And here there's another orange. Okay, this is nice too. Yeah. You could go with yeah, the blue shirt as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Evergreen. Oh, they're both nice. It's confusing. Yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to ask Director of Photography, Jalaj, because he's the great expert on these matters. Jalaj, which one do you like? Pink. Pink. He likes what I like. Okay, Super. so we are settled then. Yep. So we do this color. We and do, we do the cufflink. We do the cufflink. Right? Great. And uh, how long is all this going to take? Um, I would say about 15 days because uh, it all depends on how soon my silversmith can give me what I want because it's going to take us a couple of to and fro's to get the right uh, feel that I'm looking for. <laughs> Maybe come then. Two weeks? Yep, two weeks We from see now. you in the shop yes. and you'll have them ready. Absolutely. Right.